you guys have said there were members of the Lincoln Project who were very concerned about January 6th. So what was it like to be with them to witness the attack on American democracy in the U.S. Capitol, Kareem? Yeah, I mean, I think they, um, I think they unfortunately knew how how dangerous the 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 the, the language and vitro was becoming within the party, and 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 they could see the, the the cowardice among some of their former colleagues who, you know, at one point were criticizing Donald Trump and then could not say anything uh, ever to challenge his his authority or 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 any of his abuse of powers. Um, and we we filmed some of those moments where you could see them kind of talking about how there could be a violent, um, you know, a violent scenario that was likely. Um, I think that it was very shocking for them. You know, I mean, I remember having a conversation with one of them and I, and I, and I said to them, I was like, you know, we saw these kinds of political violent images in, in Egypt, which is where Fisher and I met. We met in Tahrir Square, actually, when we when I was filming uh, during the Arab Spring and and we saw how how much the symbols of power could change in a country, but nobody ever imagined images like that in the United States, right? It just you just we, you know I think we grow up with this mythology in America that uh, American exceptionalism is so powerful that it can kind of overcome anything. And I think certainly in my generation we haven't seen any real strife that's caused the country to feel so divided until until recently. So it was I, I felt that you know. They were they were they they were mourning the the kind of demise of 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 some of the some of the some of the ways in which they saw the beauty of the country uh, get desecrated. And I think it was very personal for them to know that they could have maybe had a hand in helping weaponize some of these ideas early on. You know, I mean, it, this January six in many ways is the Frankenstein that I don't think they are directly responsible for, but. I do think, as we show in the series, you know, you draw you draw a through line from Palinism to Trumpism to where we are today.